back in the yard, you heard? I'm back in the yard, you heard? So boom, when they shipped me out of Gabriel, right? The niggas sent me back to Franklin, right? So like I said, when I got there, the whole jail is flipped. Everything is different. It's just a different energy over the whole jail, like. It's a different lighting over the whole jail, like the whole jail just looked different. To I was never in the main, I was in the annex. And they sent me back to the annex. I think I was in N, I, I, can't, I think I was in L1 or L2. I can't remember which dorm I was in, but it was whatever dorm it was, it was the one that's all the way in the back, the last dorm in the jail. So I go to the mess hall and shit, right? So I'm in the jail, I'm looking for niggas that I was in the jail with the last time. Like, where my mans and these niggas at, right? I'm not seeing nobody. So I go to the, I go to the mess hall. I see a nigga from my old dorm. For the sake of the story, we call him G-Boy. So I'm like, yo, what's up with my nigga G-Boy? Where that nigga G-Boy at? So, I mean, a nigga was like, so nigga was like, son chilling, he's still over there. Like, the nigga response was type light. You feel me? So I'm like, why that nigga response type light like that? So boom, some other nigga, he hears me asking about the nigga G-Boy, right? Some other nigga. So the other nigga, this is a nigga, this nigga from Long Island, right? I don't know this nigga at all. He a new nigga in the jail, you heard? But this nigga over aggressive on some extra tough shit, you feel me? So his whole vibe, I wasn't feeling his whole vibe. So the nigga was like, hey, yo. Hey yo, you, hey yo, you, you G boy man, you heard? So I'm like, first of all, I'm like, I don't know this nigga. I don't even know why he talking to me. You heard? So I'm like, yo, yeah, that's my man. Why what's up? So the nigga like this, yo, word the mother, that nigga fucking with a chump. He like that nigga fucking with a chump. So I'm like, what? I'm like, nah, you can't be talking about the, you can't be talking about the same nigga I'm talking about. He said that nigga fucking with a chump, nigga. He said, so if that's your boy. You need to holler at that nigga, you heard? So I'm like, first of all, not only do I not know this nigga, but he checking me about my man, fucking with a chump in the jail, you heard? So I'm tight now. So boom, my next day, I'm on the walkway, I see this nigga. So I'm like, yo son, what up? He like, yo, what's up nigga? I'm like, yo, what up nigga, what's this shit I'm hearing? He like, nothing nigga, nothing. I'm like, nah, it ain't nothing. It ain't nothing, it's something. I'm like, what's this shit I'm hearing? Come to the gym. You understand what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, come to the gym, my nigga. I don't know if we had the bubble or the gym that night. Either one. I think it was the gym. Yeah, it was the gym. So I was like, yo, come to the gym tonight, my nigga. Real talk. I got to holler at you. So he like, I bet. So the nigga comes, so we meet up in the gym that night. Now, at first, I wasn't even going to tell this story because in the day and times that we living in, you know what I mean? Niggas is canceling niggas like a trash TV series, you heard? And it's like, you don't know what you can say and what you can't say nowadays. But I'm just keeping it thorough on how life was in the penitentiary. You understand what I'm saying? So, and I can't, I can't tell the story of Franklin and the story of my bed without explaining this shit here. So, so son comes to the gym that night. So I'm like, yo, I'm like, yo, what's up with you, my nigga? I said, yo, you got niggas. I said something. I said, you got some niggas. Telling me you fucking with chumps in the jail and all of that. Like, what's that about, nigga? What's that about? So he like, yo, that shit, you can't be believing anything you hear, my nigga. You can't be believing anything you hear. I said, listen, my nigga. The sound travels at 1,120 feet per second. I mean, son started trying to explain the shit. And then he gave up trying to explain the shit. He said, yo, nigga, I'm just going to keep it real with you. He like, yo, I got my dick sucked by the chump, nigga. He said, I got my dick sucked by the chump. When that nigga said that... That shit just felt like a nigga took a knife and stabbed that shit through my heart. I was like this. What? He was like, nigga, I'm ashamed. He said, I'm ashamed, nigga, but I'm going to tell you. He said, I'm going to tell you because you my man and I ain't going to sit here and lie to you. He said, I got my dick sucked by the chump. So I was like, yo, my nigga, real talk. I said, I don't want to, I don't even want to hear that dick suck shit, nigga. If you got your dick sucked, you did everything. You feel what I'm saying? I don't want to hear that shit. He like, yo, son, I got, I got this amount of time, man. I got that amount of time. I said, son, none of that shit ain't no fucking excuse, my nigga. I know niggas that got 20 years in that ain't engaging in that shit, like, you know what I mean? So what I'm trying to figure out is, like, my nigga, what the fuck was you doing? How you even got caught up in that shit? He like, yo, the chump's telling me this and telling, sending messages and kites. I said, yo, bro, real talk, my nigga. I can't believe you, my nigga. 
I said, I can't fucking believe you, my nigga. You heard? So the nigga was like, nah, nigga, it ain't just me either. It ain't just me. It's such and such too. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm like, what? So the nigga like, yeah, son. You know what I mean? And son is going to come and talk to you too. Real talk. I'm like, yo, son, y'all niggas is killing me, my nigga. Y'all niggas killed me, you heard? I'm like, yo, my nigga, like, come on, my nigga. I'm like, yo, so you telling me, y'all niggas, so last time I was here, you telling me y'all niggas was doing that shit behind my back? So the nigga like, nah, son, nah, son, while you was here, niggas had too much respect for you, son. Niggas had too much respect for you, niggas ain't do nothing while you was here, son. When you left, niggas did that shit. I'm like, Psh. yo, that nigga was crying. My son started crying, you heard? The nigga started crying like, yo, son, I played myself, son. He said, I played myself, son. I know, I know I played myself. I'm like, yo, son, how you going to do this to me, my nigga? I said, you my fucking son. How you going to do this to me, my nigga? You feel me? You my man and all of that shit. But it's like, yo, nigga, in jail, tell me who you walk with. I tell you who you are. You feel what I'm saying? If niggas see me in a jail fucking with you, niggas going to automatically assume that, that I engage in that shit. You feel what I'm saying? He like, yo, I understand that, son. I understand that, son. He like, yo, word of mother, son. I'm like, yo, son, yo, word of mother, that's fucked up, my nigga. I said, that's fucked up, my nigga, that you would do some shit like that. You, I said, you spent all this time, nigga, getting a reputation, not me, all this time making your name gold in the pen, and you going to throw it away like that, my nigga? I said, that's fucking crazy, my nigga. I said, I feel like fucking blowing your head off, real talk. I said, son, I feel like fucking cutting your face off, man. Real fucking talk. And I had a razor. And I had a razor. And I had the razor in my hand. This shit was dramatic because I ain't going to cut this nigga. But this how mad this nigga had me. You feel me? So I'm like, yo, my nigga, I feel like he was like, yo, son, do it, son. He like, yo, you should, nigga. Fuck that. Cut me, son. Cut me, son. I ain't shit. You feel me? And I'm like, nah, nigga. Nah, nigga. Nah, me. I said, you just fucking broke my heart, my nigga. Real talk, you fucking broke my heart, son, with that shit. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm going to always fucking love you, and you're going to always be my man, my nigga. But now I got to keep, I got to give you 200 feet like a fucking fire truck in this jail now because niggas going to think I engage in that shit now if I'm running around spinning the yard with you and all of that crazy shit, my nigga. Real fucking talk. So he like, yo, son, I understand that, son. I understand that, son. And that shit just was hurtful to me, my nigga. And you understand what I'm saying? And let me explain this. You know, this was this was 1996 or, 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 or late 95, you heard? But probably early 96. And it's like, yo, you know what I mean? Listen, my nigga, whatever a nigga's sexuality is, whatever a nigga do with his cock, that's on that nigga, my nigga. But in jail, that shit was highly frowned upon and it was a test, it was a test of your strength. Like, yeah, nigga, we all doing time. We all miss pussy. You, you understand what I'm saying? We all wish we could stick our dick into something. But are you going to let this shit break you to whereas... You understand what I'm saying? Will you start hallucinating and shit? Will you start motherfucking lying to yourself and convincing yourself that you like something that you know you don't really like? Like, that shit crazy, my nigga. You understand? So there are some killers that engage, that engage in a homosexual lifestyle. You feel me? And they are respected. And then... But then... But the majority of motherfuckers that engage in homosexual behavior in the penitentiary, they get disrespected. People lose respect for them. People feel like they could do whatever they want to them. Like, unless you a killer. You understand? But if you a regular nigga and you start fucking around in jail, niggas be feeling like they could do anything to you. Like, you understand what I'm saying? You could get ran out, burnt out, stabbed up, cut up. Nobody gives a fuck. You understand what I'm saying? When I was in green, I told you I seen a dude get oil thrown in his face. But another time, another situation, it was an older dude that came to green. And basically, he was always preaching to the young niggas, but he was also messing with a chump. You understand what I'm saying? And dudes found out about that. He in the dorm preaching to niggas, yo, you can't do this, you shouldn't do that. But when he in the yard, he's spinning around with, with, with a chump. So niggas like, yo, we tired of this nigga. And niggas threw grease on that nigga face and burnt his whole face off. Now I mean, and I'll leave that for another story. And my nigga, um, Poe would tell that one, you heard? Because he was in the dorm when it happened. But, um, yeah, man. But basically, yeah, so like, once you engage in that, it's like, it's like tarnishing your legacy. It's like disrespecting your name. It's like making your name trash. You feel what I'm saying? It's like whatever real shit you did, you understand what I'm saying? Whatever hood you represent, you putting a stain and a tarnish on your hood by engaging in that shit in jail. You feel what I'm saying? When you supposed to be a thug or a street nigga. Let me clarify that. 
Because like I said, some motherfuckers is gay and go to jail and they, and they continue being gay in jail. But we talking about niggas who supposed to be thugs and gangsters and real niggas and live wires. You understand what I'm saying? And lit niggas and you understand what I'm saying? All of that crazy shit. Once, once you engage in that type of behavior, your, your reputation is tarnished. You understand what I'm saying? So it wasn't so much it hurt me that a nigga... What hurt me the most was that son flushed his whole name and reputation down the toilet. You understand what I'm saying? And... And our reputation because I was known for fucking with you. I was known as your man. You understand what I'm saying? So that shit, like I said, it was it was hurtful. And then my other man that he also told me engaged after I left, he came to speak to me the next day. And he's way older than me. And he's a nigga with a nice amount of time in, not excusing anything or making or justifying anything. But he's a nigga that got 15 and better in. You feel me? That nigga comes to the gym to poly with me. And son tells it to me straight up. He like, yo, listen, my nigga. While you was in this jail, I had too much respect for you. And I wanted to make too much of a good impression on you to engage in any type of shit like that, my nigga. You feel me? He like, I couldn't I couldn't do that with you in the dorm. I couldn't set that type of example for you. You understand what I'm saying? You 17 years old in the dorm with us and shit, and I'm fucking with chumps and shit like that in the dorm. He said, I couldn't do that to you. But after you left, my nigga, I ain't think you was coming back. You feel me? And, and, and frankly, my nigga, I got a dope habit. I ain't got no family. Nobody give a fuck about me in these streets. And this chump nigga got a whole bunch of motherfucking money. So if he want to suck my dick, to make sure my books is right and my motherfucking locker is fat and I can sniff dope anytime I want to and I ain't got to worry about robbing niggas to eat. He said, my nigga, then I'm going to do that, my nigga. And I'm just keeping it real with you. You heard? And I apologize that you got to be, you understand what I'm saying, sucked into my bullshit because I know niggas know you for fucking with a nigga like me. You understand what I'm saying? And he said, but I just got to keep it 100 with you, my nigga. This the penitentiary. Like, I don't know when I'm going home or if I'm ever going home. And that ain't even no excuse. He said, but I'm letting you know, my nigga. That's what the business is, you heard? And, and it was so it was so straightforward and real. I couldn't do nothing but respect it. And he said, yo, son, you know, of course you got to stay away from me, my nigga. I don't want you around me because there's a bunch of niggas in this jail hate hating me right now because of what I'm doing. You know what I mean? So I don't even want you around me, my nigga, but I love you, you heard? And you stay up, nigga, and you know what I mean? And you make sure you stay out of bullshit, you heard? We was all in the annex, but I was getting ready to be transferred to the main. That's what it was, man. So I come back to the jail, two dudes that I was real tight with. There's a bunch of niggas that was my mans, but a lot of them niggas had left. But two dudes that I was real tight with, I found out that they both fell victim to, you know what I mean? Doing what they did in jail, you feel me? And that shit was, that shit was disappointing to me. So... That shit just taught me a lesson, like, you know, you don't really know motherfuckers the way you think you know motherfuckers, like, you may think you know people, but people got secrets, man, so, you know what I mean? I learned. So, boom. Remember, I told you I left Gabriel. I had I had a tier three ticket pending over my head. So, now I'm in the, I'm in the annex in Franklin, but at any day, I'm going to go to the ticket hearing. And when I go to the ticket hearing, they're going to find me guilty of everything, and I think they gave me 90 days loss of everything. I don't remember. But 90 or 60 days loss of everything. Because a tier three in Camp Gabriel to Franklin, it ain't that serious to them niggas. You feel what I'm saying? Them niggas tier threes be niggas getting killed. You feel what I'm saying? Or niggas, or niggas almost getting killed. So when you came and I came back, them niggas like, they don't really give a fuck about that. Camp Gabriel shit, you feel me? But they still, they still, you know, I'm going to a ticket hearing for some shit I caught in a different jail. You feel what I'm saying? So them niggas be like, whatever. So I don't know if them niggas gave me 60 or 90 days, everything, loss of everything. You feel me? I think it was 60 though. So boom. So now I'm in a dorm. Like I said, old friends, I can't fuck with them like that no more. If I want to survive in the penitentiary and be respected in the penitentiary, you heard? So now... I'm kind of dolo. It ain't too many niggas in the jail I know. So, in my dorm that I'm in, this is this this fucking dorm was one of the worst dorms in the in the jail. Like, shit, dumb, strict, boring as a motherfucker. You heard? 